Hi guys, it's Tammy from Let's Make a Date with Paint. I'm here at the Market Heights Library and we're going to paint some Lego faces today, a girl and a boy. We have different size canvases because this was just my sample, so we're gonna go down to the littler size. So first thing guys, we gear, we're giving you guys some yellow paint and I'm going to, you get a big brush just like this and we're gonna take your big brush and you don't have to get it wet or anything. And we're just gonna do up and down strokes. And some of you, I bet, have done some paint classes with me before. So you kind of know my routine. It's a little different without you guys here, but we're making the best of this. And we're just doing up and down strokes. And we're going to do two Legos. One is a girl, one is a boy. And then next week, Jenny, I we had we picked out to do SpongeBob. So if any of you kids or grown-ups like SpongeBob, that's another one we'll be doing and have this. <clears throat> it's so quiet here because I'm so used to talking to everybody here. But we are just doing the up and down motion. Up and down. Up and down. And then you're gonna have your top edges and your bottom edges. I'm just kind of going over it a little bit. This yellow that I have is a little darker than the original one I used. That was just the one I had at home, but this one's a little bit more like the Lego yellow. I'm just checking my edges. Oop, I missed an edge over here. Sorry guys, it was my phone. Forgot to put it on silent. Getting some edges up here. So this is the first one. And since I've already got my yellow out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one. Cause I don't know if you guys are doing both paintings or just one, cause we've got a boy and a girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one real quick so we have it done. <clears throat> I hope someday, soon, we all can paint again together. I hope you all are getting ready for your Thanksgiving with your families. I know we're just having one with us. But I sure do miss you guys here and at Rosati's. And if anybody wants to do a Zoom class or have a paint party online, just let me know. I'm sure we can set it up like this. And then we can deliver you some stuff. This one was um, sponsored by the library, so it's so nice for you guys. Okay, so that one will be for my girl Lego. So I'm gonna set her to the side. Okay, so I've got those all painted yellow. And I'm gonna rinse off my big brush. And while I am doing that, I'm gonna switch over to my medium sized brush. I first had the yellow, and now I'm gonna switch to my black. <clears throat> Sorry about my phone. Okay, so everybody's gonna get some yellow and black. And black is going to be for our face. So I'm going to take my medium sized brush and I know a lot of you that take it with me know, when I do these lines right here, I'm going to do it side, not up and down. So I will go like this and this, kind of like that on my brush. So the first thing I am going to do is try to find the center. 
And if it's not centered, it's okay, because we're just all amateurs here, having a good time. So, first thing I probably should find is where I want the mouth. So, I'm going to just kind of put my mouth here. One line, do the line like that. And putting just a little line here and a little line here. Okay. And this is probably one of the easiest paintings I've done, but with everything going on with COVID, we wanted to do it kind of short. Okay, and so I just want to kind of decide where I want my eyeballs. So I'm just kind of going around here in a circle. See, hasn't he got a happy eye? Happy little shades. This guy's got happy little eyes. And I'm trying to find the center. And there's no right or wrong. It's so quiet because I'm the only one in here right now. Okay, so we got two eyeballs. They're not perfect, but they're fun. And then I'm going to do an eyelash here and an eyelash here. Now look, you got your happy face. And like I said, his smile is not quite, quite like I want it. But if you have any mistakes, I'm going to give you some white paint. And you can always go back over that with your white paint. And then you can uh, re redraw it if you like. Okay, but he's cute. I like the square size of it. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and rinse off my brush, my medium sized brush. And you know what, this is your painting. So if you want to do something else with the face, that's fine. You do it how you would like. Okay, now I am going to go ahead, you are all going to get red paint for the mouth and the tongue. should have opened these beforehand <laughs> but they're new okay so let's put a little bit of it's called crimson red okay and you all guys are all going to get little paint trays too to put your paint in i put an apron in the bag we're putting um, some paint brushes that are yours to keep your trays are yours to keep your canvases are yours to keep it's just much easier when you're going to be at home with all this going on okay so now i'm taking my medium sized brush. I've cleaned it off. And see his cute little tongue? This is our little boy Lego. You can put your tongue wherever you like, but I thought it was kind of cute going up here. So I'm just going to kind of take the little red and do a little palm power. Same way as I always do. This paint is not drying as fast as I like. But you just kind of give it a little curve. So you can have a little bit more thickness, his tongue. What do you think? I like it. Okay. So he's just got a cute little tongue. Now, I'm gonna go back to my black and see that little line right here? I'm just gonna add that little line right there in the center of his tongue. It's that little thing, you know, underneath their tongue. Okay. And now all he needs for your boy to be complete is some white in his eyes. My son Gabe, he will, I think he'll like this one. And my daughter Destiny, probably. They like Legos. So does my son JP. They all like Legos. That's a big hit. Everybody wants Legos for Christmas this year. Okay, so I'm taking that, putting it in there. And I am just going to circle around just a little bit on both sides. Now, if you want, it might be easier if you take and give you a small brush. You can go in here and add the roundness a little better.
Now, since it's a little bit of a quicker paint, it's harder, it's just, you know, harder to dry. And I did just drop a little bit of paint on my face, so I'm gonna just wipe it up a little this time and add a little yellow over it. Thank goodness it's white. It covers up real easy. So you can just go back over it if you see any, like my sides here from touching it. Now, isn't he cute? Now you've got a little Lego boy. You can give him a name if you like. He's just got a cute little face on him and I like the yellow better. It's more brighter. And then we can date it. As I always say, don't take it out to dinner, but you know, you can date it with your, my gosh, what? I don't even know what today's date is, but whatever today's date is, it's hard to keep track anymore. And then your initials. Oh, it's 2020 because what a weird year it has been I hope people have getting closer to their families that's the one good thing about this year all right so your little boy he's all done okay now I'm gonna set him off to the side to dry and we're gonna start working on our little girl so I'm gonna go over here and get our girl <laughs> There he is, and there's your finished one. The nice thing about the video, you can go back and rewind it so you can see if I'm going too fast or all that good stuff. Now we've got the girl, because we the little the boy or young man has to have a girl. She looks a little bit older. And so we have already got our yellow canvas painted up and down strokes so we already did that so what we're going to do is get our medium sized brush again let me just stick this on this can for a minute wipe this off so you definitely have a more girly mouth so i'm going to get first start out with my medium sized brush again so we can do the lines and i'm going to use the black okay and first, I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. Let's see. Kinda of trying to find the center. Actually, you know what? Let's do the eyeballs first, okay? So let's just do her eyebrows. She's gonna have some big eyes, I guess. And don't worry if it's not the right size. You can always even it out. have to be perfect try to get it as much as you can but even not we're not perfect so you know all right so now I've got the eyeballs and I'm going to take see how these lines go across I'm gonna put that line here and then I'm going to extend it all the way up over here kind of give her that little bit of angle there see how that kind of comes up Okay, and then I'm going to do the same over here. I'm just going to extend it and go up. Maybe do a little more angle there. Okay, she almost looks mad, huh? Okay, and then I'm going to do the eye, eyebrow, eyebrow. Okay, and then we're going to give her some lashes. And I might just switch over to my little brush for that. You got two tiny brushes I believe you're getting with your kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over and so it might get thinner lines up here, just so I can, well, maybe not thinner lines. Give her some lashes. It doesn't matter how many, just as, you know, how many you like. And angle your lines like this. I'm better on the one side than the other. And if you don't like it, you can always take your white paint Fix it. <clears throat> I just, that one might have a little black in it. Just always make sure your brush is clean. 
Gonna add a little yellow to cover that up. The yellow will probably do it this time. Yep, it does. Now, make sure you let the library know you enjoy this. If you like doing the classes at home. Okay, so I'm gonna let that white paint dry there. And then the next step we're gonna work on is her mouth. And I'm gonna go back to my medium sized brush. <clears throat> I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit because uh, I don't want too much water on it. I'm not used to being on the camera, so I turn my back, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got her two eyes, her eyelashes, and then see this little mouth right here? We're just gonna take and make her a little mouth. She can have a big smile, she can have a little smile, however you like it. There you go, see, give her a little smile so she doesn't look mean. Okay, and now we are going to, let's clean that off again. I tend to use my medium sized brushes. If you guys do the class with me or have ever done a class with me, you know that I kind of stick to the medium sized brushes. So let me clean this off and I'll pick her back up. Okay. So what we're going to do is see this little mouth. She can have a little mouth, a big mouth. We're gonna use that crimson, I think it's called crimson red. You're gonna get some of that in your kits. And you can do it farther down by you know the mouth if you like but I'm still using that like part where I can give it a more better line I'm gonna kind of curve that a little bit there and there okay and then over here now you're just gonna go in and fill that in now your yellow might not be dry yet. So, you know, you're at home. You can take a break, go to the bathroom, get a snack, whatever you wanna do. You know, if you're an adult painting, you might wanna do this when your kids are in bed. If you're a kid, then you can do it anytime with your mom and dad. Thank you. So there is your mouth. And I'm gonna let that dry again and I'll probably go with some more red. Now you guys can put a nose on them if you want, but most of the Legos that I saw didn't have a nose. Or I guess maybe, what is it called? The Lego Movie might. You guys could also, there's even online, if you can get some ideas on Pinterest. There was a, what was his name on the Lego Movie? I cannot remember his name, but you know. I'm sure the kids are like screaming at me and I don't know what you you know, I can't hear you. But the guy off of, uh, if my kids were here, they would know. The one off the Lego movie. Oh. All right. Emmett? Emmett, yes. Or something style. The girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, wild style, I think her name is. So if you guys wanna change it up, if you got paint at home, you can always add some extra colors in there. All right, and now what I'm going to do is add that white to her eye. If yours is dried, mine was still a little bit of wet. I'm just kind of adding that in the middle. Okay, and then I'll take my little brush and just go back and kind of fix it around the edges. And these are really easy. So if you guys want to have a craft day with your kids, you know, or something, after one of you do it, you can do it with your whole family. These are cute little square canvases. I've never used them before like this, but they're just cute. Like, you know, so you can put more than one next to each other. Like if you make one and decide you want to do another one. Okay. And I went back to fix my little a spot right here. So that's gonna dry. I'm gonna let her dry a little bit. And 
maybe just go over the red one more time. So she can have that really red lip. And at home, you guys can go over it after it dries. Mine's not really dry that much yet. Look how cute these are on these uh, square canvases. And I'll go back over that later. And then again, I was trying to figure out the date, but I couldn't remember what the date was. But I'm going to go ahead and put my initial. It's the 14th, the Tammy. 14th? Oh, yeah, because yesterday was Friday the 13th. Yeah, Saturday the 14th I of November. I cannot think. So you want to date it? Put your initials. Oh, those are cute. And then 2020. just told me today is the 14th so we're getting so close there look at that 14 that's 20 but I already put 20 20 there but you know you can do whatever you want it's your painting all right and then if I put these together look how cute they would be if you get an extra one of these you can paint them on, hang them on your wall like this your boy and your girl in a Lego room in your kids room a bathroom wherever you like. So there's your little boy Lego and your girl. Thank you for, uh, you know, coming and watching this and I appreciate it. Miss you all. Hope to see you soon. Bye.